and there are multiple ides that are very useful for us there are already available to create playbooks one of my favorite ides are mentioned here so atom sublime text pycharm or visual studio code you can use any one of them so i will be using atom so if i want to install atom i just need to go to the i can just google atom so the first thing that you will see here is basically atom.io so this is the site that we need to go and uh, we can download the atom ide from here so i am currently using windows so if you are using any other operating system then you will be able to install it for your operating system as well so here you can see we have the windows 64 bit for windows 7 or later and there's the download button so what we do when we see the download button we click it isn't it so just click on this and just save it so once you've downloaded this just click on this and open it it's as simple as it can get so just once you've opened it let's wait for some time for it to open yeah so atom is currently being installed it will launch once it is done so once you've installed atom this is the basic first screen that you will see you can just close the unnecessary guidelines that you have welcome guide so there's a welcome page i don't need anything so you have add folders and reopen a project so currently i'm not going to do anything because i don't have any current projects right now so this is the basic id that we have if you want to create any file you can just click on new file and so let's suppose i have this ingredients with me or the text with me that i want to add as a part of the yaml script so i can just copy this and i can paste it and i can just save it i can save it to my folder here so this will be my test.yaml and i can just save it so this is my yaml file if you want to install additional packages what you can do is you can just go to file then go to settings here you have install you can just click on this and you can search for packages so if i want to install anything specific to yaml what i can just do is i can search for that so so here it actually gives me a lot of options to install plugins for yaml as well so let's suppose this is one of the very popular yaml ide plugins so i can use it so atom ide support for yaml language so i can just click on install here and i can install this as well so now it has installed right now so there is one more thing that i wanted to install that was linter.js yaml so for the indentation and validation so what i can do is i can just install this it's very simple to install plugins in atom because you have to just click one button to install a plugin so i don't think so there will be a problem here for you so linter.js yaml needs to install dependencies linter so install dependency yes okay i'll disable the diagnostic and i'll go back to the crypt once again what is saying unexpected error so yaml lint is not installed So if you don't have a yaml lint what you can do is you can just install pip install yaml lint that's it see now it is perfectly running right now so if suppose you get that error what you need to do is you just need to install yaml lint using a pip command for your python build that you have so here what you can see is that this actually gives us a lot of flexibility when you are writing playbooks that may be a gruesome task for you to actually remember all the indentation and things so this will actually help you to correct your indentations and actually perform your coding actually really better so the document actually needs to start with hyphen 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 so what i can do is i can just add hyphen 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 and just save it and uh, yeah great uh, column starts greater than line okay indentation is two but we found zero so what we can do is we can just provide two indentations for everything and just save it yeah so now this is corrected and this also needs a indentation so yeah now the only error that we have is wrong new line character expected slash n yeah this should be fine right now i think there was some error so i think that's fine now so we have corrected all the errors that we have 
So that is the basic idea of using an IDE and using the plugins that are very helpful for us to minimize the workload that we already have, that we are already going to do. So just go to settings and click on install and install the plugin that you want. And if suppose you want to revisit all the plugins that you have installed, you can just go to packages and you can see what all you have installed. So I have just installed IDE YAML and Atom IDE UI and Linter.js. So this Linter.js actually will tell me what are the mistakes that I'm making. So that will be very handy for you as well. So I thought this will be a very good session for us to actually reflect upon what is the ID that we are going to use for our series. So Atom is the ID that I'm going to use. So let's suppose you want to use it, then you can use it as well. Or else if you want to use Sublime Text, your wish, you can use it. Or else if you want to use PyCharm or if you want to use uh, Visual Studio Code, it's up to you. Whatever floats your boat, you can use them. Okay. I think that's all we have for today's session. Then if you did like it, please like, share and comment. And, and if you like this session, then please hit the like button and uh, share it with your friends. And do meet me in the next session for Ansible. Until then, it's Pytholic signing off.